Welcome to Wednesdays with Wayne. I'm here with Dana today. We've had a lot of concerns about people planting trees this year because of the massive cicada mania, basically. Yes, right? we have two of uh, broods that are coming out at the same time this year, which is not normal. It's a 13 and a 17 year brood. Correct. So they, they're expecting, they were saying something like, I don't know, in areas that were forested, that there could be like one point some million cicadas, cicadas per acre. Yes. I think they said. Now here's our first concern. Um, if you have a farm field 17 years ago and there were no trees, you're probably not going to have any kind of cicada issue whatsoever. Right. If there was a forest there 17 years ago and those trees were cut down a number of years ago, mm -hmm. also not going to be a problem. Right. So it's really if you are in a forested area that has been undisturbed for the past 17 years that there will be some cicadas and this is going to vary. I know at my personal home, uh, I didn't have a crazy amount of them 17 years ago, but they did do a lot of damage to one of my very large specimen trees. Now, your parents were in the woods, right? Yes. And so I would imagine 17 years ago, there was quite a few cicadas out yes. there. Okay. So the concern again, you can plant trees and it really is not going to affect many or at all of your existing trees. It's right. really going to be trees that are probably more along the lines of three to five years old. Mm -hmm. So the easiest and most effective way, let's walk down here, is to actually just simply net the trees. Uh, you don't have to spray a bunch of chemicals or anything, uh, especially a younger tree is relatively small. So they have these wonderful cicada nets. This one is about 14 by 14. And we've done a little demonstration here on this red bud. We did lift with a pole uh, and got it over the top of this tree and Dana's kind of gathering it together and we'll tie it with a string. Basically, as long as the cicadas can't get on the branches of the tree, there's probably not going to be any damage. What happens is, and I'll show you the nice little life cycle here of the cicada, it is going to come out of the ground as this cicada nymph, then it's going to shed and become an adult. It will climb up the bark of the tree. That's why we're securing this net here so it can't get into the branches of the tree. And it typically likes a branch about one inch thick or about a pencil thickness, basically. The cicadas come out of the ground. They'll emerge out of the ground. They will mate and the female will climb on the branches and with her ovipositor, she will cut slits into the branches and lay eggs. And each nest, I believe, has about 30 to 50 eggs. And one female, we read... About would, 800 eggs. I think it was about 500. Or 500, it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, it was about 500 eggs for one female. Now, if the tree trunk is very small, too, this one's a little bit bigger. I wouldn't expect a lot of damage here. But if it's a thinner tree trunk, um, you should also wrap the tree trunk, again, preventing the female from making those slits and laying those eggs because what it will do is literally girdle the trunk of the tree or the branches of the tree. Once the females have mated and laid their eggs, again, we mentioned that in each nest can be 30 to 50 eggs with a total of 500 eggs per female. In six to eight weeks, those eggs will hatch and the nymphs will drop to the ground where they'll burrow into the soil and they will spend the next 17 years of their life in the soil. Now they will be feeding on the roots of the trees, which does not cause damage to the tree, but that's kind of their, their lifespan for the next 17 years. So when do we figure we're gonna to have to worry about it again, Dana? I think about 2041. In about 2041 yeah. again, and providing that the trees still exist, we're gonna have that same brood again coming out mm -hmm. 17 years later. So pretty simple fix. Don't need to worry about it. Definitely plant your trees this year. For about a two month period, you're gonna actually be netting those trees just to protect them from about the time that the iris bloom, which should be in a couple weeks, mm -hmm. and for approximately about a two month period. So plant away and don't be so concerned. Don't be so scared about all this big cicada mania. So thank you for joining Wednesdays with Wayne, sponsored by Neymar's Landscape Supply. And remember, beautiful landscapes start here.